everyone. Today we're going to do our what I call pyramid. So we're going to start with low rep. We're going to pick three exercises. We're going to work our way up and then work our way back down. So we need a really good warm up for this one and then let's get going. Let's do my favorite and our basic warm up for the day. We're going to do our multi directional lunge patterns. So again, follow along. I've done this one before, and of course, if you've worked with me, you've done this more times than you probably want. So we're going to do our six points, okay? Just follow along. You don't have to count. We're just going to move. Okay, sagittal plane here. Frontal plane or lateral movement. Keep the heels down, toes straight ahead. And now rotate. Try to turn that toe out a little bit. Turn your head with your spine, with the rest of your body, if you feel safe doing it and comfortable doing it. Okay, if you feel a little dizzy, look straight ahead and just turn out as much as you possibly can. Okay, so again, we're gonna go through several rounds of this, okay, just to get the internal core temperature elevated and then get the joints warmed in multiple directions, okay? So this is one that you could also do, just you could watch a 30 minute program and do a couple of rounds of this for five minutes while you're watching. Never hurts to get multi-directional movement. This is what keeps us balanced on walking on ice and a little more sure-footed, gets the joints to stabilize in all these different planes of motion. So this is a great one to do anytime you like. And you don't have to go very deep. Even if you can lunge deeper than what I'm doing right now, don't worry about that. Just get the movement in. We do forward walking all day long. And so it's good to get some variety of the other directions. Okay, let's do two more rounds. Last one. Okay, and we'll do a little something for the upper body and the trunk. Real simple, let's do 10 arm circles forward. Okay. Don't strain, just nice, easy movement. Okay, and we'll do 10 backwards. Okay, now, lastly, you're gonna hug yourself. So each time I want you to alternate the arms, okay? Reach back as far as you can. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then finally, let's get some trunk rotation. Okay, so don't just swing your arms and your shoulders, okay? Because otherwise, the trunk of my body and my spine are not going to get the benefit. So actually rotate from your trunk. Turn your head with your body again, unless you feel dizzy. Otherwise, you can keep it looking on a focal point on the wall or what have you, but get some rotation in. Get that spine warmed up. A few more. And now we're ready to work, so let's get started. It's that time, we're doing pyramids. So we're doing three exercises. We're gonna be doing squats. We're gonna do push-ups, but this time we're adding the rotation in. So here, so what you want to do is line everything up if you can. Hand over shoulder, 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 shoulder hand, okay? If it feels unsafe to go that far back, you can shorten up a little bit. You don't have to bring your arm so high. You can keep your arm bent because it's really about the trunk rotation. Trunk rotation is really important. So this is what we're looking at here. 
then we're going to do a very, very important one, which I like to do is what I call the hip hinge or the swing or whatever you would like to call it. So it's a little bit different than a squat. So a squat, we're a little more upright, whereas hip hinge is we're hinging at the waist a little bit more. And this is where you would actually want to pick something up off the ground is hinging at the waist, okay? So you don't want to bend like this and you don't want to try to keep your back completely straight when you're trying to get something up off the floor. So it's kind of that in between. So I call it a swing, hip hinge, but it's an important position and you don't have to have the weight. You can actually just do your hips like a pendulum here. So if I was gonna reach down and pick something up off the ground, okay? So we're gonna go five, 10, 15, and then we're gonna go back to 10 and five, okay? So that's how we're gonna do it. So let's we'll start with our squat, nice and deep. One, we're gonna slow the pace down on this one a little bit. Three, four, and five, okay? One, we're gonna stay with the same side, two, three, Five. Now switch. Remember, you can keep that elbow slightly bent. And five. Okay, our hip hinge. So here. We're gonna take kind of a nice slow pace. You don't wanna really crank on your lumbar spine or your low back. You wanna keep your hips in this position, keep your knees neutral. And five, okay? Let's go back to our squat. Again, we're going to do that slow cadence or 10 reps. So I want you to feel every rep. Try to get all your muscles to recruit. Stay active. Ten. Push up rotation. Stay with one side. If you need to keep a focal point, let's say your kitchen counter or something like that, to where you don't lose your balance and you don't get dizzy, you know, don't don't crank on the arm, but just try and get it to a good comfortable position, okay? So one. Two. Remember, you don't have to go as deep. One more. Good. Okay.
and 10. Okay, nice job. Ten. Nice job. Fifteen. Keep it short if you need to. Nice job. Push up. 15 rotations on each side. One. And if you feel comfortable doing your, you can just stay with push ups. and 15. Nice job. Nice job. Hip hinge. one. Nice job. Now we go back down. Ten squats. Or keep the weight in your heels. You should be able to see the tips of your toes.
last one. Ten. Nice work so far. Swings. Ten. All right. Last round. All right. Only five. Nice work. All right. Last exercise of the day. Five reps. Push the hips back over the heels. And done. Nice work. See you next time.